Hey guys, it's Mateo. Welcome to my guide on beginner-friendly low-tech SSTO crafting. In this guide, I'll demonstrate how I was able to launch my first craft in the lower orbit in a single stage and will return it to the runway at Kerbal Space Center. This guide is low tech and beginner friendly. I haven't even upgraded my runway yet. I have, however, upgraded my space plane hangar one time. Here's my science tree at the moment. Most importantly, I have unlocked supersonic flight, allowing me to use Panther turbofans. These engines have two modes, a dry mode for higher pressure atmospheric flight and a wet mode for pushing the low pressure atmospheric flight allowing transitions into suborbital flight. They always require airflow, however, so we will need to have another source of power for our craft to complete our orbit. Landing research for landing gear is also important. Now it's time to build our plane. Keeping this low tech, I place two large fuel tanks and my favorite, a swivel engine on the back. My wing sections connect to two small fuel tanks, and I'll place a Panther engine on these. On the front, I'll place air intakes. Then, I check the center of the mass versus the center of lift. Ouch. It's best for the center of lift to be just behind the center of mass. Right now, the center of lift is a little too far back. I'll fix that later. First, I want to add larger wings for more lift and a good spot for ailerons. I add angled tail fins. I angle them so they can control the craft on multiple axes. I correct the center of lift and mass issue with a small control wing on the front of the plane. Next, I'll add the landing gear and we're ready for launch. Remember to adjust your staging so that only the jet engines activate at the beginning of our flight. At this point, I'd also like to announce that I haven't unlocked my level 3 space plane hangar, so I can't use custom control groups. However, this plane is basic enough that we can simply right-click the components mid-flight and adjust what we have to do. Also, I haven't adjusted these fuel tanks, so they contain full amounts of liquid fuel and oxidizer. This is truly a simple plane. Time for launch. SAS on, brakes off, full boost, and engage engines. I'll get to 120, 140 meters per second or so and pull up gently to lift off. I'll keep the plane just above being level, around 10 or 20 degrees, and push for about 300 meters per second of speed and my first altitude goal of about 6 kilometers. This footage is only 200% speed, that way you can follow the entire flight closely into orbit. When this particular plane gets to about 6,000 or so meters, I try to level out. That way I can build speed with the jet engines in dry mode, but this doesn't really work now. Now it's time to switch these Panther engines into their alternative mode. Without control groups, however, I do this one at a time and things get a little hectic. It's nothing we can't overcome. My first thought is stabilization, then I want to begin to climb at the 10 degree mark to about 14 kilometers. Here, I try to speed up by going level with just the Panther engines, but it doesn't work. Now is the time I engage our swivel engine. 
Shortly after engaging, my panther engines kick out, and the swivel engine alone pushes us up towards space. I begin to climb around the 20 degree mark and watch my speed. Now I'm only aiming for an orbital speed of 2200 meters per second. As you can see, I'm not really paying any attention to much else. Once my orbital speed reaches 2200 meters per second, I can check my map. And my next plan is to burn to circularize my orbit. And there it is, single staged orbit. Now with the remaining fuel, I plan re-entry. I'm going to try and land this plane at Kerbal Space Center so we can collect full value of our plane for making it home. I burn retrograde until my trajectory is around this little island. Then I position my ship prograde and angle the nose of my ship up. This is my position as I re-enter the atmosphere at 70 kilometers. Also, now is a great time to disable our swivel engine and remember to switch the modes on our panther engines. We want them running in dry mode as we have plenty of oxidizer left over. Notice my nose pointing up towards 30 degrees which is optimal for control, heat dissipation, and speed reduction. The mountains in the distance here are a landmark for a decent Kerbal Space Center landing. Looks like I'm going to overshoot it, so I point my plane downwards and try to lower my flight into the thicker atmosphere. We started off over 2,000 meters per second, but now we're closer to 1,000, so I'm not worried about damaging the plane. Eventually, the engines re-engage, and with a thicker atmosphere, I'm able to fly my way home.